Okay, good day everyone. So, in this section, we have to discuss uh, the slope of a tangent line. Okay, so in this section, we arrive at suitable definition of the tangent line to the graph of a function at a point on the graph. We proceed by considering how we should define the slope of the tangent line at a point. Because if we know the slope of a line, and a point on the line, the line is determined. So as you can see in uh, this illustration or the figure, we have here a, a point P and Q. So uh, uh, this line is called the second line, traversing the two points P and Q. Okay, to find the slope of the function, let us denote the difference of the abscissas of Q and P by delta X, denoted by delta X equal to X2 minus X1. So, uh, the equation of the slope of this second line is denoted by, uh, we have a, this one. We have considered, uh, let us say, M. So, the slope of this second line is F of X2 minus F of X1 over X2 minus X1. Uh, where X2 minus X1 is, is called delta X. Okay, provided that uh, line PQ is not vertical, because we all know that uh, if line PQ is vertical, then the slope is undefined. Okay, if it is vertical line, we all know that uh, the slope of vertical, vertical line is undefined. So we can say that uh, from this equation, we can say that uh, x2 is equal to x1 plus delta x. So we can rewrite uh, this equation using this equation. Okay, so we say uh, m pq, we have f of uh, x2 is x1 plus delta x minus f of x1. This is all over the delta x. So this is now our equation of our slope of the line. Okay, so now let's proceed to the definition of a slope of a tangent line. So we have here, if the function f is continuous at x1, the tangent line to the group, to the graph of f at the point p, x1 f of x1 is, we have here, the line through p having slope mx1 given by this one. We have here m of x1 equal to limit as delta x approaches 0, uh, f of x1 plus delta x minus f of x1 over delta x, if this uh, limit exists. Another one, we have uh, the line x equal to x1. If limit delta x approaches 0, we have f of x1 plus delta x minus f of x1 over delta x is equal to positive infinity or minus infinity. If neither uh, 1 nor 2 of the definition holds, then there is no tangent line to the graph of f at the point P, x1, f of x1. Okay, so let us have an example uh, for the finding the slope of the tangent line. So we have here example number 1. Find the slope of the tangent line to the curve y equal to 
f of x equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 at the point x1, y1. So we all know that our function is function of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. So if we solve for function of x1, function of x1, we have x1 squared minus 4x1 plus 3. Then if we solve also for uh, the f of x1 plus delta x, that would be uh, x1 plus delta x squared uh, minus 4 x1 plus delta x plus 3. Okay. And then if we get the slope at x1, we have a limit as delta x approaches 0. We have this formula as shown earlier f of x1 plus delta x minus f of x1 all over delta x. So we need to substitute uh, what is f of x1 plus delta x. So we have to simplify this equation. Okay. So in putting that into the equation, we have uh, m of x1 limit delta x approaches 0. So we have, uh, say, f of x1 plus delta, delta x. So we need to substitute uh, this value to this value. So we have uh, x1 plus delta x squared minus 4 x1 plus delta x plus 3. And then we have minus of f of x1. We have the value of f x1, which is this one. So minus, we have uh, x1 squared minus 4 x1 plus 3. So this is all over uh, the delta x. Okay, so continuing the process, we have uh, m of x1, we have limit uh, delta x approaches 0. Okay, so we need to simplify the equation. So simplifying this equation, we have x1 squared plus 2x1 delta x and then plus a delta x squared minus a 4x1 minus 4 delta x plus 3 we have to distribute this negative so minus x1 squared plus 4x minus 3 all over delta x Okay, and then uh, this one will cancel. We'll know that uh, the three will cancel. As all as also the this will cancel three. Okay. Also the x one squared will cancel. And also, uh, we have uh, for x1, also will cancel. So what we have remain is only the value of this one to x1 delta x and plus delta x to the power of 2 uh, minus 4 delta x. So that is the remaining term we have in our equation. Okay, so we have uh, the remaining is m of x1 
So as limit, as delta x approaches 0, we have this equation 2x1 uh, delta x uh, plus a uh, delta x squared uh, minus 4 delta x. So this is all over delta x. So we can also factor the numerator in terms of delta x because that is the common. So we need to simplify again. So we have m of x1 this limit of delta x approaches 0. We have to factor this one. We have a delta x. So we have 2x1 plus delta x. This is minus 4 over delta x. So what would happen? This would cancel. Okay, so the remaining would be only uh, this value m of x1 limit delta x approaches 0. So the remaining will be 2x1 plus a delta x minus 4. And then you need to substitute the limit delta x approaches 0. So meaning this one would be 0. So therefore our li m of x1 would be or our, the slope of the line would be 2 x1 uh, minus 4 okay so this is the solution we have uh, presented earlier this one so we get uh, this value of the slope m of x1 to x1 minus 4 and then uh, I will be presenting the table of uh, corresponding of the domain of x and also the function y equal to function of x which is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 and uh, the corresponding uh, values of our m of x1 to x1 minus 4 which is uh, the slope of the function okay so recall that our function of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 okay so let us have a table here so we have here so x for example at a value at Two. So it means uh, you need to substitute that uh, value to a function. For example, it would be the value of f of 2. So that would be 2 squared uh, minus 4 times 2 plus 3. We have so this is uh, 4 minus 8, that is minus 4 plus 3, so that is a negative 1. So again, if we need to substitute that by uh, m, the slope at 2, we have uh, 2 times 2 minus 4. So we have 0. Okay, so same goes with uh, f of 1. So for example, if f of 1 would be, it would be 1 uh, squared minus 4 times 1 plus 3. So we have here 1 minus 4, that is minus 3 plus 3, that is equal to 0. Again, and the slope at 1 would be 2 times 1 minus 4, that is uh, minus 2. Okay, same goes through the value at, at f of 0. So the value of f of 0 is uh, 3, correct. So f of 0 here, uh, uh, talking about the m at 0. The slope at 0, substituting the values of x. So we have negative 4. And then same goes through the value of negative 1, 3, 4, and 5. Okay?
So I will be presenting uh, the graph of the function x squared minus 4x plus 3. So this is a parabola opening upward. Okay, so this is uh, the graph of the function. Okay, as you can see, uh, this uh, graph of the function is denoted by function of x equal to x squared uh, minus 4x plus 3. Okay. As noted in this figure, say for example at the coordinates uh, 2, negative 1. So meaning I'm referring to this one. This is the coordinates uh, 2, negative 1. So the slope of the function mx1 that has presented earlier in the solution is 0. So as denoted by this uh, orange line. So we all know that the horizontal line has a slope of 0. Okay, same goes with the other point coordinates. Say for example at uh, point uh, 3 and 0. Say for example at 3, 0. So the slope here is... We have uh, presented earlier that the slope is 2. So, uh, if say m of x1, that would be uh, 2x1 minus 4. Say, for example, if uh, m at 3, say 2 times 3 minus 4, so that is 2. So, uh, we have positive slope that we get. So, meaning uh, that is uh, the slope is a uh, uh, diagonal line that is... Uh, Uh, above or pointing above. Say, for example, if this is now uh, the slope here is negative. Say, for example, uh, I am looking, uh, I'm referring to upward position. This is downward position. Say, at the point uh, 1 and 0. So, 1, 0. So, I'm referring to this point. So, take note, this is the x axis. Also, this is the y-axis. Okay? So, at 1, 0, we have uh, m at 1. This is 2 times 1 minus 4. We have uh, the slope of negative 2. So, meaning uh, negative 2 referring to a slope that is downward. Okay, same goes with the other point coordinates that is referring. So, meaning the slope of a that we get here is a tangent line to the curve. So meaning the slope is a tangent line uh, to a curve. Okay, so that is uh, what we get in the slope of a line. So the slope is represented by an orange line, as you can see in the figure tangent to the curve of a function. So you can see that this is all, all are tangent to the curve of function at different point coordinates. So uh, we have uh, no vertical uh, line here because vertical line, the slope is infinite. We cannot find the slope of a vertical line. Okay. Okay, let us have some example uh, representing how to get the equation of a tangent line. So we have here example 2. Find the equation of a tangent line to the curve of example 1 at the point 4, 3. So we have here the slope of the tangent line at any point x1, y1 is given by, so in example we have 1, we are given that our slope is m of x1 equal to 2x1 minus 4. So the slope of the tangent line at point 4, 3, we have uh, to get the slope. So m at 4. So we have 2 times 4 minus 4. So we have uh, the slope of positive 4. 
So therefore, uh, finding the equation of the line, we have uh, to use the point slow formula. So the point slow formula is y uh, minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. Okay, take note that our point is 4, 3. So substituted, we have y minus 3 and the slope is 4 times x minus 4. We have uh, y minus 3 equal to 4x minus 16. Then rearranging in terms of uh, the standard equation of the line, we have 4x minus y minus 13 equal to 0. So this is now the equation or the standard equation of the line. Okay, and that is uh, the end of my discussion. So we continue this uh, uh, to the normal line. So the next would section would be the discussion of the slope of a normal line. So thank you very much and God bless everyone.